Ocean Gems is really proud to present the kickoff of our very first live Google Hangout on air, which is actually being live streamed on YouTube right now. My name is Danny Washington, and I'm the host of Ocean Gems. And we are all about connecting you, just like you, to marine science mentors. We're very excited to be here at the Blue Ocean Film Festival today in beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida. By a show of hands, I would love to know how many of you have ever considered being a marine scientist. Show of hands, let's see it. Or marine biologist, yeah. Awesome. We've got students from around the country and the world. So the goal today is to give you an opportunity to speak to these scientists and to ask them questions as well. So I'd like to start out joining us from the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. Let's say hello to Santiago High School and A.B. Miller High School, Adelante Charter School in Santa Barbara, California. Can we say hi to Adelante? <laughs> Hemville School in Montana. Hello, Hemville. <laughs> All the way from Guelph, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> Well, we are very excited to have such a diverse array of students from all over the world today. And whether you're participating with us live or if you're watching on YouTube, use the hashtag Ocean Dream Careers today and stay connected with us during this forum and beyond. GEMS means go explore marine science. And that's what Ocean GEMS is all about. By pursuing a career not only in marine science, but any of the science, technology, engineering, or math courses, what we call STEM, you guys have such a great opportunity to transform our knowledge and grasp a deeper understanding of how we all together can build a brighter future for everybody. But what's really important is to have a role model, someone you can look up to, or a mentor. Each one of you is like a giant sailing ship with a massive sail that can go any place in the world. That's what each person in this room is like if you think about this. If you have a goal, you know where you're going to go, that giant ship will take you any place you want to go. If you don't have a goal, you're that giant ship without a rudder. You'll sail around aimlessly in circles, never getting any place. Nobody in this room wants to live like that. So it's very important to have some kind of a goal. Mentors are the second most important thing, and nowadays there are so many great scientists out there that can mentor you, and that's one of the things that this program does. Wherever your inspiration comes from, follow that spirit, follow that inspiration. Take that fire and carry it with you and do something with it. And I think that each of you, whether you're a young man or a young woman, um, you have equal opportunities today to pursue careers in marine sciences. And so I'm very proud right now to introduce you to a true mentor to all of us and an ocean gem, Dr. Sylvia Earle. For the students sitting here, there were a few that did raise their hands who said they wanted to become a marine scientist as well. What piece of advice would you give them? Don't let anyone say you can't do that because it's too hard or because you're too tall or too short, or they think that you can't do it for whatever reason. You're not good at math. People will give you all kinds of reasons why you cannot do whatever it is you want to do. If in your heart that's what you want to do, just keep at it. Open your eyes, look around, and realize that life is a miracle. Just think about it. And you have the power in your brain to use that inquisitiveness and discover things for you and for the rest of the world. Excellent. And on that note, in this, for this next generation that's coming up, what, what can they really do? Because we know there are a lot of issues facing the ocean right now that yeah. humans have caused, unfortunately, but we can also find the solution. So what can they do now? How can they start to help? Everyone has power. And I think kid power is the strongest, most effective of all. Don't underestimate your power and the opportunity that you have now that is more urgent and more, I think, more exciting than ever before because of the things we now know that could not be known when I was a child.
And I wanted to know, did your family support you in becoming a marine biologist? Finding those people who are supportive of you and who, who you know, value your passions and you, what the things that you're interested in is really important. And to find those people can can really help you stick with it, even when it's even when it's challenging. Hi, my name is Camilla. What motivates you to keep going? And do you think we can save our oceans and, by extension, our species? Um, <laughs> you know, for me, what motivates me is that yes, I honestly believe that the ocean and our fate are linked. And I really feel that if we don't pay more attention to the health of our oceans, that it is going to affect the future of our race, as you mentioned. But I do think that there's hope. And one of the things um, that Sylvia mentioned is that there is no better time than now. We have the technology and we have you know, so many things at our fingertips where we're going to be able to save the ocean if we want to. So the matter is not can we, it's a matter is the matter really is, is do we want to and and you know we got to just get together and do it. So it's it's not about not having the ability to do it. It's about it's about getting out there and actually making it happen. This is our entire class. We live so far away from any ocean. Why do we need to worry about the ocean issues? And what kinds of things can we do in Montana to help protect our oceans? It's a good question. <laughs> I think why you should care about the oceans is that you know. 71% of our world is covered in ocean. It is so important to our lives and our food and our climate. And some of the things that we do, even very far from the ocean, have an, have an effect on the ocean. So if you think about trash that ends up in rivers is one example that eventually you know can make its way down to the ocean and have an effect there. So those are some things that our whole world I mean, just like we're connected on, on Google Hangout right now or connect by, via Skype, the world is so connected and when the things that we do, even in very landlocked places, have an effect all around the world. Uh, but we'd like to thank all of our wonderful speakers. Let's give them a round of applause. We'd like to thank all of the teachers who made this possible today for us to interact with all of you great students out there. We hope that we're leaving you inspired and that you will take the next steps to toward maybe a career in marine science, but most importantly for you to follow your passion, whatever that might be. So again, thank you to everyone, thanks to the Ocean Gems team, and most importantly as well to the Blue Ocean Film Festival for having us here today, and we hope that we can continue something like this in the future um, around the world. So thank you guys again, and have a wonderful day. Bye.